Hi there, Edu Prado here, and today I'm going to make a quick walkthrough of the Sakya Bottle sample library. So this library is a collaboration between myself and a great friend of mine, Jan Fitzer. He's an amazing composer from Germany. And a couple of years ago, we sampled this huge Sakya Bottle that has a great organic sound with a lot of character. The library comes with four different instruments. You have the bottle sounds, the dreamy celeste, the organic pads, with five different pads you can choose from and the thick bass with two different bases. So the first one is the bottle sounds and the user interface is pretty straightforward. You have this nice bottle picture here and on the side your control panel. First you have a convolution reverb that you can turn on and off and adjust the size and the level and you have a little drop-down menu where you can choose between six different impulse responses carefully selected just for this instrument. Next to it, you have a width knob where you can make the samples wider and give a very cool stereo effect. And you also have a cutoff knob. On the bottom here, you have an envelope control where you can adjust the attack and the release. And you also have a spin effect where you can turn on and off, adjust how much of the wet signal you want and if you want the spin to be slow or fast. Let's hear how it sounds. very cool sound and you can get very creative with the different effects here. Next we have the Dreamy Celeste. I just love how it sounds and since every patch is built from the bottle samples, we always have that airy top end definition and that very warm low end. And I love the Dreamy Celeste with the Master Hall reverb. And on a Dreamy Celeste, you have a full envelope control down here where you can adjust the attack, decay, sustain and release. And you can get very creative to get different effects like a reverse or short plucked sounds. Next we have the organic pads with the same controls of the bottle sounds. And here you have the option to choose between five unique pads that just sound amazing. And I love how each one of these are different and the samples are very long and they're constantly moving. So you have a lot of motion and it gives a very organic and natural feel to it. And the last one is the thick bass, which is one of my favorites. And you can see on the thick bass, you have the option, instead of the width knob, you have a drive option, which can work really well for a bass sound. And here you have a add sake button, which I love, that triggers a different bass sample, which is a bit messed up and dirty, it's just so nice. It 
It's just a powerful bass sound, and the samples are pretty long and have a lot of movement within them. So they really work well for long notes. So that's it. That's the Sakya Bottle Sample Library. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lot of fun, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.